Thai ghosts come in many forms, all with different motives and origins attached to them. These are some of those believed to still haunt Thailand to this very day. This haunting creature is the result of a spirit that possesses humans, and during the day remains in that human form. But come nightfall, and the krasu will force the host's body to separate its head and intestines, and thus it floats around, hunting and glowing with an eerie green light. It's hunting for raw meat and foul-smelling substances such as feces and placenta to eat. It is said that being a grasu could be hereditary, that a person will remain a grasu until she can transfer saliva into a blood relative's mouth. Scientists have offered an explanation for the eerie green light associated with the grasu. They say it is caused by methane gas emission or bioluminescence. Generally said to be as tall as palm trees, the Pred has a skinny, almost skeletal figure with large, oversized hands and a tiny pinhole mouth. They are often distinguished by their agonizing screeching or wailing as they search for people to beg for merit or food to end their suffering. It is believed they originate from people who have committed grave sins, from hurting one's own parents to stealing from the poor. The Bred's physical form reflects its continued suffering. The tiny mouth makes eating difficult, and its body burns from fires of sin, with the skin always charred and burnt with blisters and boils. Evidence of supposed Bred sightings can be seen in mural paintings at Bangkok's Watsutat Temple. Some believe, however, these sightings were in fact the shadow cast by the giant swing in front of the temple. The Bob is said to be the spirit of an ever-starving ogre that possesses people. It must possess a human body in order to eat. The possessed person will thus hunt for raw meat, including human flesh and animals and often rips the head off its victims. Even until this day, villagers in northeastern Thailand can be accused of being a bob and subsequently driven away by exorcists to become an outcast. Most consider this belief to be a form of mass hysteria or an excuse to chase someone away. These are the vengeful spirits of those who died a gruesome death such as in a car accident or being murdered. They often haunt the location of their death, seeking to find a replacement by influencing lethal accidents on passers-by. They may appear as a haunting human figure, or sometimes a grotesque corpse lingering on dimly lit streets, or even your back seat. Thais continue to erect shrines and give offerings to appease these vengeful spirits in locations where fatal road accidents have occurred. Similar to Western lore's incubus demons, shadow people, or the old hag, the Piam sits on a sleeping person, causing them to have nightmares and rendering them unable to move. There are some who claim this spirit may leave bruises and cuts on a person. The general description tells of a shadowy lingering figure and which sometimes will yank blankets away or a person's legs off the bed, much like a poltergeist. Many cultures around the world have used such a creature to explain the phenomenon of sleep paralysis. And there you have some of the most infamous and most feared of Thai spirits. Hope you don't get in an encounter with any of them. <laughs>